What kind of store do you have this time? Well, let me begin. One day, Mario and new friends create a new world. Th that world was Mario Land. But there was one who didn't think too highly of the name Mario Land. It was that scoundrel Wario. Wario thought since he was a superstar, it should be called Wario Land. <laughs> but once he spoke up, an argument about who the real superstar was ensured. Then Princess Toshi said, I have a name we can all agree upon. Just like the princess to solve a problem, they all thought, feeling a bit humble. The name this world shall be... Peachland. So the reckless argument continued for a while. About that time, a terrible thing happened in Mario Land. Without warning, Bowser appeared and began attacking Mario Land. A good Koopa Trooper who discovered Bowser ran towards Mario and company. Then Koopa shouts as loud as he can. Mario Land's being invaded by Bowser. But he was ignored. But Toad, who couldn't stand it any longer, said... Why don't we name this world after the superstar who defeats Bowser? Mario and everyone else agreed with Toad's proposal. Immediately, they all began scrambling as fast as they could toward Mario Land. Will Mario and friends ever be, ever be able to defeat Bowser? This is the Legend of Mario Land. Let's see how it unfolds. Hello guys, this is GeeSquad16 and welcome to Mario Party 2 board playthroughs. This is actually a redo of the project. I originally did this game back of October of last year. And um, I decided to do a new one now that I have a capture card. Now, but I did, but the original way I recorded Mario Party 2 was the same way I did with the old Mario Party 1 project with a camera facing the television, which that was not good quality, so. So I decided to do this in um, better quality and of course the uh, do a little bit better because the last project was kind of horrible even though I was undefeated but I kept on getting the uh, let's see um, I'll explain later in the game but let's get, go ahead and get started this is Mario Land and we have six main boards we have Pirate Land Western Land Space Land uh, Mystery Land and Ho Ho Horror Land and Bowser Land Rules Land is not a board. It is a uh, tutorial on how to play Mario Party 2. There's also Mini Game Land, which is a, uh, a natural forest amusement park filled with fun excitement where you go and play mini games at. And also Mini Game Stadiums there, and of course Mini Game Coaster, which is like Mini Game Island, but I'll definitely do that at the end of the project. And we have Option Laboratory, and this is where you do your game settings. So. Now, like I did in the old project, I'm going to go on these borders in order, starting with Pirate Land, and then next Friday, do Western Land, and so on. Because I will upload one board every Friday, once every Friday, so. Let's go ahead and get started with Pirate Land. 
And Toad is a boat. So Toad is on the boat. That's funny. Toad is on the boat. Okay, we gotta choose the game settings. Uh, one player since I have nobody to play with me. Characters, um, I'm gonna be Wario since he is all, since he's awesome. We'll have Mario, Luigi, and I guess Yoshi. And difficulty, like the first game, it's gonna be on hard. Turns, 20, like I said last game. And starting with this game, we can actually choose to have the bonus stars at the end, which are the same for Mario Party 1, or no bonus. But we're gonna set the bonuses. And these settings, yeah, okay. Now let's get started. And this is the first board, Pirate Land. And this is pretty neat. In each different, in uh, each board, the characters dress up as like the theme part of the board. Like this board, um, they're pirates. So I thought that was always pretty cool, pretty neat, you know. All right, here we go. This is Pirate Land. Talk loud. And each board has an objective. Which involves Bowser, a certain part of Bowser. Well, actually, it's Bowser, but this board we have Captain Bowser. And we have to find the secret treasure and defeat Captain Bowser. So, the way we do that is to reach the end of the game. So, Okay, turn in order. I'm going last. The frig. Uh. <laughs> going last. And of course we get a 10 coin present. And of course, the, like the like the most smaller party games, the objectives to have the most stars at the end. And Toad will give it out a star like he did in the first game. And the price is the same. We get 20 coins, we get a star. Man, there's something else new. There's Baby Bowser. If you run into him, he'll take five coins from you. So try your best to stay away from him. And I'll go over some of the spaces here as we go along. I'm not gonna stop the bit. Yeah, I, uh, I'll just wait to my turn to explain this. Some spaces here. Let me do the message speed and the mini game settings. And of course, blue space. Lena get three coins. Okay, Mario's turn. He gets a ten. And he's going by the much the uh, that, that is the Koopa Bank. Every time you go by there. You have to pay out five coins, but if you land on that bank space, you get however how you get that amount of coins in the bank. How many coins are in the bank? So, um, I'm gonna go with the map real quick. Uh, we saw blue spaces. You land on get three coins. Red spaces. Uh, you lose three coins. Same. Uh, Bowser space. If you land on it, Bowser co will come out and cause havoc. Most likely, you take coins and do some other stuff. Question space, that is the happening space. Um, whenever you land on that, something happens depending on which board event. And that ship, will, if you land on it, that ship will blow you back to start. Um, let's see, there's one more space, I know where it is. Right up there. That is the uh, explanation point space, which of course is chance time. Which you know how much I love that event. Um, basically, you play a game of chance and you get to. You either give, receive, or trade coins or stars. So that can be a game changer. Game changer. Okay, we have some new spaces that weren't in the first game. This is a treasure chest space. You land on it, you play an item mini game. I'll go over items once we uh, get them. Um, this uh, lightning boat space. You land on it. You uh, we play a battle mini game. Will Guma come out and take a certain amount of coins from everybody? We play a battle mini game. And the winner gets 70% uh, of the coins. Second place gets 30%, while third and fourth get nothing. If there's an uneven amount of coins, Koopa will will give one randomly to somebody. And of course, we have the item shop. You can buy items here, and I'll explain items once we get them. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video where I will start my turn. <laughs> 